All right, so in this problem, I have 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x. So I'm going to first start by dividing both sides by 9 to the power of x. So now this results in 9 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now 9 to the power of x and 9 to the power of x cancel out. So I get 1 plus 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x is equal to 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is the same thing as a over b to the power of m. So 15 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 15 over 9 to the power of x. And 25 to the power of x over 9 to the power of x, that's going to equal 25 over 9 to the power of x. And now, 15 over 9 simplifies to 5 over 3. And 25 over 9, that simplifies to 5 squared over 3 squared. So now 5 squared over 3 squared, that's going to equal 5 over 3 squared. Now I have this to the power of x. Now if I have something from a to the power of m to the power of n, same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m. So 5 over 3 squared to the power of x, that's the same thing as 5 over 3 to the power of x squared. Now I'm going to let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to the variable y. So I get 1 plus y is equal to y squared. And if I subtract y and 1 on both sides, I get y squared minus y minus 1 is equal to 0. So I get a quadratic equation, and to solve this, I'm going to use the quadratic formula, which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is negative 1, and c is negative 1. So I get y is equal to negative of negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is negative 1 squared, minus 4 times a times c, which is negative 1 all over 2a, so 2 times 1. This is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of negative 1 squared, which is 1, minus 4 times 1 times negative 1, which is plus 4, all over 2, which is equal to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. Now remember how we let 5 over 3 to the power of x equal to y. So I have 5 over 3 to the power of x equals to 1 plus or minus the square root of 5 over 2. So now this gives me two equations. I have 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. So 5 over 3 to the power of x equals 1 minus the square root of 5 over 2. Well, 1 minus the square root of 5, that's going to be a negative number. And a negative number divided by 2 is still a negative number. And notice how we have a positive number to the power of another number here. And you, ta you can't take the power of a positive number and make it equal to negative. So there is no solution for this. Now, for 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2, to solve this, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can move b to the front, so it's going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 over 3 to the power of x, and I can move x to the front, so I get x times log 5 over 3 is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2. Now if I divide both sides by log 5 over 3, these two cancel out, and I get x is equal to log 1 plus the square root of 5 over 2 over log 5 over 3.
All right, so in this problem, I have x to the power of 3 plus x is equal to 10. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by subtracting 10 on both sides. So if I subtract 10 on both sides, these two cancel out. And I get x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now, from here, to actually find all of the solutions for this equation, we have to first start by finding one solution and then use that one solution to find the rest. So how are we going to find that one solution? Well, we're going to simply have to guess. So let's start with x equals 1. When x equals 1, I get 1 to the power of 3 plus 1 minus 10, and this is equal to negative 8, which does not equal 0. This is wrong. Now let's try x equals 2. When x equals 2, I get 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 minus 10. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. A plus, 10 is, a plus 2 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So this works. So now that we have one solution of x, we can use this solution to find out the rest of the solutions. And how are we going to do that? Well, if x equals 2, this means that x minus 2 is a factor of our original equation. Because if we plug in 2 for x minus 2, that equals 0. This means that I have to divide x minus 2 with x squared plus x minus 10. However, this also means what we can do is we can rewrite x to the power of 3 plus x minus 10 as, well, what's 2 squared? 2 squared is 4, so I get plus 4x. And then because we have plus 4x, what is x? What is 4x plus what is equal to x? Well, 4x minus 3x, or we could also do 5x minus 4x. So we get 5x minus 4x minus 10 is equal to 0. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor by grouping. So we're, we can group x to the power of 3 plus 5x and negative 4x minus 10. Well, x to the power of 3 plus 5x, the greatest common factor is x. However, this won't work because x squared plus 5, that can be simplified. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is rewrite this as x to the power of 3 minus 4x plus 5x minus 10 is equal to 0. So now, if I factor by grouping, the greatest common factor from x to the power of 3 minus 4x is x. So I get x times x squared minus 4 plus from 5x minus 10, the greatest common factor is 5. So I get 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now x squared, x squared minus 4, I can rewrite that as x plus 2 times x minus 2. And I have this plus 5 times x minus 2 is equal to 0. Now from here, I can factor out x minus 2. So I get x minus 2 times x times x plus 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. And this simplifies to x minus 2 times x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now this gives me two equations. I get x minus 2 is equal to 0 and I get x squared plus 2x plus 5 is equal to 0. Well for x minus 2 equals 0 I can simply add 2 on both sides so I get x equals 2. And we already remember we already got this solution by guessing at the start. Now for x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0 I can use the quadratic formula So in this case, I get negative 2 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4, minus 4 times a times c, all over 2a. And this is equal to negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20, which is negative 16 over 2. And you can't take the square root of negative numbers, so there's no solution for this, meaning my only solution to this equation is x equals 2.